What's going on, everybody? My name is Matthew Gilliland. Hi, I'm Alan Guy. Longtime friend of Matt's. We've been friends for years and years and years. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, we used to have a lot of videos together, a lot of skit videos. Um, like Deuce Brothers 1, 2, and 3, and then 4. And the Fabernaut series. Silo Madness. Matt's channel has turned majorly into a gaming channel. Um, mostly because he doesn't have people over all that often. Um, as I'm sure he's made you all aware, he's moving from where he's at now very soon. And I'm hoping to be here a lot more often. So I'm hoping to make some more skit and sketch type videos with Matt. Oh yeah. And that's what that's what, that's the thing I've been wanting to do is take a break from the gaming area because I've been doing that a lot more often than usual. And do the real life shit like I used to. Like, um, him and I actually discovered uh, a new uh, a new urban legend that's actually real. His, his name is The Bone Man. And this is not a joke, people. This is not a joke. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Cough. So what him and I have discovered about The Bone Man is... What do you want to tell them? Because him and I did research on this, I want to see what he came up with on his end of the research. I don't know where to start on it. Um, do you want me to do it? He's a sort of skeletal figure. A skeletal humo humanoid. The bones are rotting and very decrepit. His preferred method of attack, I guess you'd say, is to force you into a trap. Trap you, hurt you, torture you, until he decides which host or which body he would prefer to inhabit. Once he's done that, he will inhabit that body until it dies from any cause. And on um, my end of the research is, he's also known to, um, Look inside your soul and see what you have done and make you relive if it's really horrid, if like if it's legitimately horrid, he'll make you relive the sin you've caused as if you were the victim and you're doing it to you to yourself. Like say if you committed murder, he will make you relive that point to where you murdered somebody, but the person that you're murdering is yourself. He is an entity to not trifle with. As far as channel stuff goes, I know there are a lot of you that join because of the gaming, because that's what's been going on a lot, and a lot of the gaming stuff is going to keep up. Um, I'm hoping he gets Battlefield 5 sometime soon. <laughs> I will sometime soon. Okay, <laughs> I just got it the other day myself. Um, Battlefield 5 is a great game. It is fun. It takes traditional Battlefield and kind of throws a Call of Duty-like spin to it. Keeping the same size maps, the same gameplay as Battlefield with your unlocks being more Call of Duty style and less purchase and points based, more play based. So you really have to pick and choose what class you're going to play on. We're not sponsored in any way, I'm just giving some inside information on it from what I've played so far. The class you choose has to be the class you're going to dedicate to. Because the class you choose is going to be the one you're going to have to work on to unlock stuff because your unlock is not based on your actual level as it is in Call of Duty, it is based on the class you play. Each class has its own upranks, and each uprank unlocks new weapons, new gear, new camos, stuff like that for the class. So, I myself play Sniper. The bullet drop is amazing. There's no wind variability, but that's neither here nor there. Um, like I said, the bullet drop is fairly accurate to real life. It's way more accurate than Battlefield 1 is, and as any of you who play Call of Duty know, there is no bullet drop in Call of Duty. So, 
it took that, made it a good solid principle. It took um, hiding, camouflaging with your environment and made it much more realistic. The environments don't look so fake to where the players stand out really horribly. It makes sniping a dream. And the maps are very well mixed with tight lanes and long ranges. Um, so whatever your play style, you can play it. Also on the um, channel, and yeah, I, I'm going to be uh, doing a lot of gameplays. And as soon as I get uh, Battlefield 5, him and I are going to be uh, doing a lot of uh, gameplays, per se. But in the meantime, I'm going to be doing... Uh, gonna take a small break from the gaming world and start doing the real things like I used to back in the day along with throwing in a little bit of my music here and there because he wrote me a fucking uh, a really good song we're in the pro I'm in the process of writing it, it he's, he's in the gotten process. to see the first two verses and it's actually pretty good it makes sense and it's actually pretty hilarious it's called oh shit it's gonna be on That's the all the information we're giving. <laughs> yes, no spoilers. <laughs> well, no spoilers. Okay, I'll, sh I'll shut up then. Um, tonight we are going to be playing change with scene cards. Um, we're gonna be throwing in some ideas, and myself, Lee, Bowman, and Matt are all gonna be playing change. So that's a video to look forward to in the near future. I absolutely. And there's also um, going to be a lot of gay shit. Are you going to be able to upload? Yes. Sorry, I shouldn't have asked that right now. Are you going to be upload, able to upload this late tonight or tomorrow? Yeah. So, as of, uh, you guys are also going to see a lot of <laughs> gay stuff in there. Like, me and Alan, you guys might think of us as being gay. We, per, we play as if we're gay, but... We're actually best friends, but we did make a, uh, <laughs> a swear that if women didn't work out, we'd go gay for each other. Yep, yep, yep. We also made a blood pack on our hand. Mm -hmm. Mine's a gone <laughs> Mine looks like it's long. <laughs> Holy shit, yours is just as long as mine. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I mean, I kind of miss the good old days where it, I got so into the PlayStation world that I miss doing the real shit, the real funny shit in real life. Yeah, we need to talk to your dad and see if we can go fuck around and do some shit in the box. <laughs> like during the day. Oh, fuck yeah. Just go hang out like we used to, make some videos, you know. All I gotta do is just make a phone call and be like, Dad, and we're gonna go there tomorrow during the day and fuck around. We're, we're also into the paranormal, guys. Like, legitimately into the paranormal. We laugh at horror movies, but whenever it comes to real life shit, we are scared shitless. <laughs> <laughs> like, the movie Mara. We fucking laughed our asses fucking off at that shit. <laughs> By the way, for anyone looking into it, this music is claimed to be non-copyrighted, which is why it's playing in the background. So if it is copyrighted, just give us a heads up in the comments. Like, we'll take it down. It's... On the service I, I looked it up on, it says it's non-copyrighted, so... My question is, do you want to do a live version of us playing? Um, change, or do you want me to actually record the shit? I don't know, honestly. Because if I do live, it's going to be on the uh, phone. And if I do recording, it's going to be on that thing. It'd be better quality recorded, though. Yeah, it would be better quality recorded. So, yeah, I'm going to do a lot but at more. at the same time, it could be fun to have user or viewer comments. Yeah, I would. Yeah. Uh, viewer suggestions for change. Exactly. <laughs> viewer suggestions for scenes, different things to do. That'd make it a lot more fun. Absolutely. 
we're in our 20s. Back then we were in our teens, and we're still hanging out, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. He's attempting to get sponsored by a certain company. Bang! <laughs> if you want to try out the new energy drinks out there, it's called Bang. Get banged by Bang. And you'll see, you'll know what I'm talking about. It, it does bring a big bang to it. So what's the plan now? Well, we're going to get everything set up for change. Let's do it. All right. See you guys in the next video.